back, I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta, and today what I got for you is a whole lot of knowledge that I got, and not a whole lot, I got just a bit of knowledge, but hey, what I want to share with you today is how I poda, and I mean, what I take with me that's very important, not deer important to me, I don't really give a crap if I have it or not, but it's going to save my butt someday, and actually did save my butt a few times. Um, I see people activating, uh, they'll, something will come up, they'll burn on a fuse, or they'll do something, their antenna wire doesn't work, and it's sad, you're, you have to go home and you're not going to activate. So, what I'm going to show you is the stuff I bring with me every activation, and it's in my backpack, and it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. So, hey, stay tuned and watch this. So, what I'm going to show you here is I got a table full of all this junk here, my radio stuff and and um, various stuff. Um, you can bring a whole pile of stuff. If you're gonna load up the Poda Jeep or the Subi, you know, you could just bring your whole toolbox if you want. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, if you wanna bring all your tools, man, you got, got everything you need, right? Screwdriver and pliers and all that. But what if you're out backpacking or you're just, you know, you're going into a park and you just don't really want to lug all that crap around. So what I do is I always have a few things that really do save my butt. And uh, I actually use them not even in emergency in some cases. They're just my go-to. So, hey, I'm going to share with you what I do first here. So first problem comes up. You run out of battery. And it's probably happened to you guys once or twice. Maybe it happens to you all the time. You're just some powerhouse gets 160 Q cells in your battery. Boom, you're done for the day. Good way to stop the day, right? Kill the pile up, the battery's dead. So, hey, what can you do? I mean, you could bring a spare battery. Well, we've got this guy here. I mean, this is a good spare. It's, it's lightweight, um, 20 amp hours. Very good backup, right? But do you really want to carry this around with you in your fanny pack or if you want to carry it on your back? Do you want to carry two batteries with you? Probably not. Um, I couldn't carry this when I went traveling. It's a little too big. So, what did I do to overcome, to go out and work and get 12 parks in one day, do a big rove? Uh, my little, my little uh, 10 amp hour battery is not gonna cut it. So this is what I did. Probably one of the best ideas I had with battery management. I took these guys here, come around the table and show you a little close up. These are the two clips that were on my battery charger. So, Here's the battery charger that I have. What I did is I snipped them off, snip, snip. And then on my battery charger, I put on my power poles. So that's another episode. So I had two little alligator clips. And I thought, you know what? Find the little camera there. I just crimped on some, some male crimp on ends. Guess what these two things match up to? Yeah, you got her. They match up to what the battery terminals are. So, hey, I just ripped this off. You see that? This is my power pole connector. Take that. Yeah, I'm going somewhere with this, you guys. I'm going somewhere. Pay attention. I'm getting to the point. I'm getting to the point. Don't worry about it. We're going to get there. Okay. Put these two in here. Look at that. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna connect these to this. I'm not bringing my battery with me. I'm bringing these with me. These are tiny, a lot, a lot smaller than my, than my battery. Look at that. Okay, I got some good DX going on. Pile up, I don't wanna go home, or I'm in the middle of nowhere, I wanna play some more radio. What do you do? Battery's dead, radio's dead. I'm not going home, screw that. I'm gonna take my, open the hood on my car, my Jeep, there's, I'm not gonna open the hood right now, but this is my, my car battery. I'm gonna hook up positive negative to where I need to, and hook up. Do we have a dead battery? No, we don't. We have, we're back on the air, just like that. So we're using our car battery. Now, of course, you don't want to drain your car battery. Please charge it every once in a while. She could be really screwed when you're sitting in the park. No radio, no car to start. But simple as that. That is one of the tricks that I use. Make one of these guys. And, and thank me later when you have 
you still have you can activate. Okay, we got the battery stuff covered. Bring yourself one of these. Now this is a multi-tool, has pliers. I mean, it has a knife on it. Doesn't have a fork, but hey man, you can cut, make yourself a fire too if you want. Why this? Well, you might have an antenna that needs small adjustments. You got yourself a little bit of a plier in there, you know, to turn that screw, mess it all up, but it'll be worth it because you'll get those polo contacts, right? Um, you could use this to cut your coax to fix it if you need to. And that's gonna be another episode. We'll fix the coax out in the field. Uh, get yourself one of these. You do need a multi-tool. Get yourself something good like this. Don't get yourself some hokey thing that's like uh, supposed to be uh, like a knockoff. Get yourself a genuine tool. You're out in the bush. This may save your life, not only radio, but also might be able to cut yourself down a tree or something like that, right? So get yourself one of those. Bring some spare fuses or some pack, some gum, whatever you want to use. If you want to make your own fuses, not recommended. Two fuses, that's all you need. That's going to save your butt. I have done multiple times, have done it. I promise you that I've hooked up the battery backwards and fried my fuses. And I know a lot of people, and you guys know who you are. The only, you're watching this, you know who burnt out your fuses. It happens. Bring them. Put them in the bag. So, another thing. Bring some backup for your, your logging. Um, I always use my iPad or my phone for logging, but there's the odd time that sucker screwed up or crapped the bed and it doesn't work anymore. Can't trust technology, right? That's why we're hams. We don't trust technology. We use a heck of it, a lot of it, but technology sucks sometimes and it really sucks when it breaks down. Bring a pen and paper, that's something you're gonna want. So let's do a, main, uh, a recap of everything that I, what I have here. This is on top of like, let's say you're out there and you already know how to activate. You, you, you're activating, you got all your stuff that you need. You know, you bring your, your uh, radio, your coax, your antenna. I'm not telling you what to do to go out there and activate. These are the little things that you sometimes forget about. So take yourself some sort of generic bag that has a zipper seal on it. Open her up, put your notepad in there. We're gonna put in our multi-tool. Couple fuses, maybe two, more than two if you're really, you know, not, not really smart there. These things, bring these with you. Instead of bringing an extra battery, instead of bringing your charger, instead of bringing solar panels and bringing all that crap, bring these, use the car battery. Now, if you don't have a car at all, don't bring them because they're not gonna be doing anything. You could toss them, but we're gonna bring them. We're always around some sort of a vehicle when we go activate. Also, before I forget, bring some sort of tape. It could be a Canadian duct tape or it could be some black tape. Bring tape with you. If, if you have to, the Canadian way, tape it together. We'll tape it. It'll be good enough for that activation. Man, I use tape all the time. Uh, if your antenna's not staying up, your coax is broken, you need tape. And trust me, you need tape. Put that in the bag. All right. There we go. So this is, a, this, a, this is an overview rundown of extra stuff that I do when I go to the park and I depend on this to have this. If you don't have these things, you might as well just go home and cry. Maybe you got your 10, maybe you didn't, but bring this, you'll thank me later. Hey, for now, see you hams on the bands, 73s.